Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to be kind of just talking to the camera a bit. I'm going to be saying what's been going on, what I've been working on, why I haven't really been uploading the past week or so. And um, I still get a lot of, or I don't really get too many, but I still get enough comments of people telling me if I need a break, I should take a break. So I kind of what well, came back a little bit. I did a few AUs here and there, and I just don't think I was fully ready to return yet. Like, I don't think my head was fully in the game. So I took a little bit more time off, but I'm going to be letting you guys and gals and fellow non-binary trans individuals, whatever you want to consider yourself, I'm going to be letting everyone know pretty much what's been going on, what I've been dealing with, and etc. basically. So starting off, I have an upcoming surgery and I'm going to give you all the rundown in case you don't understand why I'm getting surgery. So I need teeth surgery, basically my number 19, which is my bottom near the back. It's like the one on the way back before the wisdom teeth and then one forward. It's the one above that. Uh, on May 29th, I went into a place known as Corner Dental, which is an absolutely dog shit dentist office. It's actually terrible. Uh, basically I've had a bunch of friends who've had a bad experiences there and I had my first bad experience there on the, uh, 29th of May. I went in for a root canal surgery, but it was so painful. They injected me with numbing agent over eight times and it proceeded to do nothing. It was very painful. It was pretty uncomfortable and I just couldn't complete the surgery. So they put a temporary filling in my number uh, 19 over here. And in that temporary filling, they told me it would last more likely a week. Um, it's been over two months and it's still going quite strong. Like I haven't had any severe issues with this tooth since I got the filling. But I definitely know that um, over time it's definitely wearing and tearing. So me and my grandma have been looking for a place that would put me to sleep that would accept my United Healthcare Medicaid. Because that's what I'm currently on for healthcare at the moment. So, I, on the 30th of July, I went to Cleveland, Ohio, and I went to a dental clinic near a hospital. And I went in, and they were going to do the surgery that day. They said, we're just going to give you uh, the anesthesia, just make sure to go over the rules for the anesthesia, everything should be good. And I was like, oh, cool, I'm going to get it done today. And then I started looking at the rules, and I kind of realized I can't get the surgery done today. reason why I say that is because I ate... After midnight, the day of the surgery, you're not supposed to do that. So I basically kind of screwed that up for myself because I was hungry on the way to Cleveland when I should have just not ate shit. And then um, after that, um, they gave me the date August 20th. So on the 20th of this month, I'm getting this number 19 removed. No, this is the number 19, my bad. And I'm hopefully getting something done with this tooth up here because I have a few problems with that. And I have gingivitis that I'm also trying to get taken care of. But that's, uh, we'll just see what happens when I go into the dental clinic. I'll upload, I'll update you guys later on that. Um, but yeah, I have an upcoming surgery on the 20th. I do feel like when the surgery happens, I'm definitely going to take some time to heal up. And you might not see me upload unless I'm feeling really good. I don't know. But um, another reason that I've been offline quite a bit is because, once again, y'all know I got a girlfriend. Her name is Mandy. Mandy is very lovely. And um, she's been in a few live streams. Everyone who's been in my Discord server loves her. She's very, very kind, very great. And I've been spending a lot of time with her lately. And I will admit that it's definitely distracted from creating content, but I've been happy with her. Uh, so I didn't really consider it that bad, but I do understand that I've always taken YouTube quite seriously, or I can't really necessarily say that, but I've attempted to take it very seriously because there's definitely some points where I would disappear for months and months and months on end. But this is, uh, now that my channel is as big as it is, I feel like I can't take like three month breaks and come back for the exact same thing to happen. So... Yeah, that's another reason I've been gone is because I've just been hanging out with my girlfriend a lot. I've been spending the night over there. I've been helping her family. Um, basically, just all of that, you know, just been helping her out, giving her love and building up the relationship. And then I want to speak on the final thing. So as y'all know, or I actually don't know if you guys know, but I think I did show it in a live stream. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was working on an album. And yes, I do make music. I make music within the hyperpop genre. Sometimes I make music within the rock genre. 
But I mostly make hyper pop music. And um, I was supposed to have an album release in July. It was a full album. The album was going to be called Mad. It had a few songs on it that I've already completed pretty much. Uh, uh, Cry Out is one of them. Mad, which is the self-titled song from the album. Knife Right to the Heart, which I need to finish. Uh, there's quite a few songs. There's even a song called LSD, which is about like tripping on LSD. And I'm not saying I condone that kind of thing. But I thought it would be an interesting topic to speak about in the form of a song. Plus, with how it sounds, it does have a very good hyperpop ring to it. And if you know anything about hyperpop, a lot of the music videos and stuff for hyperpop are very glitchy or very, um, like, kind of like psychedelic in a way. Like, I, w I don't know if I'd say that or hallucinogenic. And I'm not saying that in the form of a drug. I'm saying the music videos and a lot of the stuff within the hyperpop genre are very uh, hallucination like, very uh, colorful, very vibrant. And it has a lot to it. So I thought LSD would be a good song to make for the album. And there's even more songs on the album. And one of the reason the album never came out is because I'm waiting for my good buddy Mr. Crispy to redo his verse. Uh, in case y'all didn't know, I have a song called Strong, which I believe I did show a preview for in a live stream. And Mr. Crispy made a verse, and everyone I've shown the verse to was like, yeah, we really like it. We think it's really catchy. I even, in my honest opinion, think it's one of Crispy's best verses. But I asked Crispy, um, hey, uh, what do you want me to do about the situation with Strong? Because I want to get that album out soon. And he told me he wasn't very happy with the verse and he didn't want me to release it yet. So I'm holding it back and hopefully the actual full album with all those songs will be released in September. But because I feel like I've been lacking in the music department lately... I'm also making a full album, hopefully before my surgery, and I do have a lot of songs already made for the album. Like Miss You, one of the single releases I have on my music channel right now. Very catchy hyperpop song, it's basically a song talking about missing the one you love, and I made it for my girlfriend, so... It was a pretty catchy song, and I definitely thought it would take, it would, uh, have a good place on the album. And not only that, there's definitely other songs and definitely some bangers coming out. Because I'm going to be honest with you, the album that I'm releasing this month, I think it's going to be better than the one I'm releasing next month. But don't hold me to it. That's completely subjective. But a lot of the songs on the new album coming out this month, uh, there's uh, Miss You, which I just brought up. There's Just a Single Bullet, which has like a rock hyper pop theme. And it's kind of about going insane. And like, like you went insane and you kind of lost yourself and you're trying to kill someone that you hate. That's pretty much what the whole song's about is like, I'm going to kill you with just a single bullet. That's pretty much like the whole song. It's just meant to be one of those types of uh, hyper pop songs that have a harder sound to it and have a more dark meaning. Uh, the third song on the album so far is called Breathe. Uh, my girlfriend actually said I should make a song called Breathe because I asked her to send me a list of words, see if I can make them into any music. And uh, I thought Breathe really made sense because I've always, I, I like, I don't know if it's just me, but when it comes to music creation and how I have, like, ADHD and autism and stuff like that, I always overthink these things. Like, uh, before I even make songs, I try to think of names for songs that I want to create in the future. And Breathe was definitely one I've had on my radar for quite a bit that I wanted to make a song of. And I do think Breathe is a banger. I do really like it. It has like a nice old uh, bouncy hyper pop feeling, but it's also a very positive song about helping uh, my loved one through anxiety and stuff like that. Uh, then there's Where Did You Go, which is also another banger in my opinion. I think Where Did You Go is really good. It's also a longer song than a lot of the other music that I've made. Because this song is 2 minutes and 51 seconds. And sure, it might be quite short to some people. Because um, a lot of the times when people listen to music, uh, like you would expect the average length for a song to be like 3 minutes to 4 minutes. But a lot of my music I've made is anywhere from like... The, the, the common length of my music is anywhere from a minute 30 to 2 minutes and 15. Like that's the average length for like a song that I've made. Maybe a little over, but not very much. But that's like the average length for uh, music that I create. And the new album that I'm making now definitely has some longer songs on it where I'm trying to like expand. I'm trying to like showcase that I'm getting better at creating music. And it's definitely, Where Did You Go is definitely a, a really good song. I even have an idea for a music video that's really depressing. And I definitely think it'll be an emotional music video. But right now, God, there's a fucking gnat in my room. Go away. Fuck off. Anyway. Um, but, 
this gnat is pissing me off. I don't know. Besides that, I do think Where Did You Go is going to be a banger. I think a lot of people are really going to like that. I have Save Yourself, which is the longest hyper pop song I've ever made. It's 3 minutes and 26 seconds, which to me is definitely a record when it comes to actual hyper pop music. But I definitely think Save Yourself is like the top song of the album that's coming out. Because it's so emotional. It's basically about being in a position with your loved one. And, and they're scared and you're trying to support them. But you're going to make sure that they survive no matter what. Even if I don't make it. That's pretty much what the whole song's about. And it's called Save Yourself. And it's a very emotional song. And I've even like been practicing how I would like uh, make the music video. Because once again, an autism and ADHD thing I do is I always imagine I'm in like music videos or something like that. Or I imagine how it would be if I were to have a music video for it. And I actually was like physically making myself cry last night, trying to show as much emotion with it. And I, I did literally make myself cry from singing it. So I feel like if I wanted to make a music video for that, it could be very emotional. It would definitely be very emotional. Now there's more, there's definitely more. So Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so another song on the on the album coming up is called Fall Apart. This one's kind of uh, about kind of just going insane in a way. A little similar to Just a Single Bullet, but a little different. Basically, it's kind of about, like, I don't know. I don't know if I would say this for sure because I don't want to just, like... Because I've seen comments on videos where some people look at mental health and they turn it into a... POV where everyone's like that's not how it works I kind of just looked at it like through a perspective of schizophrenia but I'm not too certain but I think it's a pretty good song it's about uh, 2 minutes and 31 seconds uh, Soft is another song on the upcoming album Soft is definitely a softer uh, hyper pop slash drum and bass or ba yeah bass whatever you call it uh, DNB type of beat and I do think Soft is very uh very catchy. I do think it has some emotional parts to it, and it's basically about me describing myself as soft and how I put myself down, pretty much. And then there's Wasteland, which I think Wasteland is really catchy. It has, like, a break-ins type of beat where it's very catchy. I do think it's pretty solid, and I do think a lot of people will like Wasteland, but I'm not sure. And the last one I'd have made so far... By the way, this isn't the last one. I still got more to make. Uh, Bad Luck, which I'm hopefully going to get my buddy Abstract to future on. Bad Luck is very catchy. It has like a very hard-hitting hyperpop bass sound to it. And it's pretty much just about feeling unlucky. Like it's ironic that I have bad luck when I have low chances of having good luck. It's kind of like looking at it through that perspective. But yeah, I have two albums coming out. I don't know what I'm going to name the current one. But I'm definitely trying to get at least 13 to 14 songs on there. Or maybe 10 at the very least. Meaning I would need like one or two more. But I do want to add quite a few on there to make it seem like a genuine album. So yeah, I'm definitely working on that. Hopefully uh, tomorrow I'll be able to work on that a little bit more. I'm not sure. I also got to add ad-libs for every song except for Miss You because I've already fully completed Miss You. But um, yeah, I need to definitely make this album come out. I want to make it pop. I want to make it sound good. I want to keep uh, the people who do listen to my music enticed. I want to keep them excited for it. So I do think this new album that I'm working on, I think it's going to be better than the one that comes out next month, but that's just me and it's completely subjective. Regardless, I think both of the albums are going to have really good songs on it. Like my favorite from this album coming out so far is Save Yourself, just because of like how emotional it is and how like I did, I feel like I did really well in Save Yourself. And then on the album coming next month, I feel like my favorite song on that album I have two songs in mind, because I'm not too sure. Uh, Strong with Crispy, I do think that one's going to be a pretty good song. I think it's going to be a banger. And I think it's going to be very catchy, because I did put a lot of effort with my vocals into Strong. So hopefully that comes out next month and things are pretty chill. Also, Actually, no, there's three I'm stuck between. Goddamn. Uh, but yeah, um, there's Strong, and then uh, I also think on the next album... On the next album... I'm trying to think another song I think is really good from the next album coming out not the one that's coming out this month but the one next month that I think is really good I do like mad a lot I think mad is has like a nice like digicore hyper pop sound to it but it's more dark like it's like a funeral dark sound and I don't know if that's exactly how I describe it but it's really catchy and I do like it a lot and then another song that I really am looking forward to releasing on the album after the one coming up is, um, 
shit, man. There's so many, there's so many good songs coming out on these albums, in my honest opinion. Although, once again, it is completely subjective. Some people might find it to be complete dog shit, but hey, that's on them, that's not on me. It's everyone's choice to feel how they want to feel about a song that they listen to. It's not my choice. So, yeah, definitely working on a lot of music, which has also prevented me from making a lot of YouTube content. Because, like I said, even though I do YouTube as a hobby, and I've always enjoyed YouTube, and I don't ever plan on quitting unless it gets to a point in my life where I feel like I just can't make content, I definitely got there in, like, April through May, because that was, like, the worst point of the year for me, other than, like, the beginning of January before I blew up. But, yeah, I'm working on a lot of music, trying to get a lot of stuff out there, and I'm, I want to, like, definitely become, like, a musician. I want to, like, entertain people with music, because... I don't know, I, I find it relaxing to work on music, like it's kind of, it makes me feel good about myself, and if I can make something catchy to me, I'm sure others might like it too, but hard to say. But yeah, I'm doing good, I do want to upload more going forward, I don't know exactly how much I can upload, but I'm definitely going to try, I want to work on some more AUs, want to talk about music, want to try to bring different stuff to the channel too, but I'm not sure what I should do, but we'll see, I will see. Anyway. This was uh, Jamie. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I just wanted to give y'all this update, let y'all know what's going on, and that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching. Love you guys and gals. Peace.